All right then, Power2 Max Type S review. Uh, I've had this Power2 Max power meter since the end of June this year. It's now October, so that's about three months, and I've done approximately 7,000 and a bit kilometers on it. So I feel like I can do a pretty good midterm review of this. I've ridden it in all sorts of conditions, over all sorts of terrain, very heavy rain, to the point where I was almost riding through a flood. I've sprinted on it extremely hard, uh, climbed loads on it, uh, bunny hopped over drains and just giving it a load of stick. Uh, so this is my review. Well, first of all, let's explain what it is then. Uh, Power2 Max is a German company who make power meters, hence the name. Um, they do uh, a couple of different versions. This is the second generation. This is the Type S. There's actually a new one that's just about to come out called the NG. I don't have that, but um, I probably will get that in the future, which sort of gives away how good I think the Type S is. So the Power2 Max Type S is available for loads of different crank types. Um, this is the Cannondale SISL2 crank, because I've got a Cannondale bike. Um, they also do uh, FSA, Rotor, uh, Campag, Specialized S-Works, Cranks versions, loads of different versions. They don't do, in the Type S, a Shimano version, but with the new version, the NG, they will do a Shimano version, so you can get it for whatever you like. Um, this is a crank-based power meter. For those who don't know, power meters come in a variety of different sort of types, really. Um, this is a crank-based one. Um, there's one called Stages, which sits on the left crank on the inside. Um, you can also get pedal-based ones, uh, made by people like uh, PowerTap and Garmin. I think they're shit, but we'll talk about that later. So this is a crank-based one. Uh, how does it work? Well, this bit, this disc here, that you can see the green bit and the, the, the thicker black bit around here and this little lump here, that's the power meter. There's a hole in it and your axle goes through it. Depending which cranks you've got, um, determines what sort of hole they've cut into it. Uh, with these Canada SASL2 cranks, there's a sort of a spline hole that the axle sits over. Then the inner chainring screws onto the back of it. Then the outer chainring screws onto the front of it using these chainring bolts here. Now the Power2 Max Type S, the battery is kept in here, all right, this sort of lump. Um, this sits just about flush with the cranks, so I've never had an issue with my foot hitting this at all. Um, it uses one of these batteries, you can see that, a CR2450N, which is not really that common. It's not as common as the 2032 that you can get everywhere, um, but you can get these on Amazon. This took me one second to find on Amazon, so I bought a couple of them. Um, in terms of battery life, this thing's amazing. I've had it since uh, June this year, like I say, and um, I've ridden it about 7,000 and 7,500 kilometers. Battery's still going, first battery. Um, I checked on my Garmin the other day, because um, you use your Garmin to sort of check the check how, how much power the battery's still got left. Loads left. So that's the first plus point. The battery lasts fucking forever. Um, second really good point, I've had absolutely no issues at all with creaking, um, it's not come loose at all, I've literally just sort of forgotten it's there, which is the sign of a good product I think. Um, fitting it, I used these KNCN, so KCNC cheap Chinese uh, chainring bolts, did them to 9 newton meters. Um, I've not touched them since, I've checked them, checked the tension, but I've not touched them since, totally perfect. I use these Praxis Works chain rings. Um, now, before I was on the uh, Cannondale Spider Ring, and I know this is not really connected to the Power 2 Max per se, but these chain rings are not as good as the Cannondale Spider Rings in terms of shifting. Um, I'll do a different review for that, but yeah, a bit annoying. Um, but the actual power meter itself has been completely perfect. In use, it's so simple. All you do is you turn the pedal once, so keep your eye on that little light there. There you go, it flashes, that's on. Then you wait for a couple of seconds and it just links up to your Garmin up the top um, and you're ready to go. Um, it calibrates itself when you stop pedaling for more than two seconds, I think. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it works. Um, and I've never had any issues with this losing uh, losing power, the power dropping out, power being weird, anything like that. The only time, the only issue I've had with it is once when I was out riding in some extremely, extremely hot weather, 40 degrees, um, and the power went a bit weird, like it started registering much, much lower than I should have been putting out. <laughs> yeah, I know you're thinking, well, maybe you're just not riding as hard as you usually do, but it was like, you know, usually I'm sitting at sort of 300 watts and this was down to like 60 or something. Then I had to stop for a bit, a couple of seconds, let it calibrate itself and then I then it was back to normal. I sent an email to Power2Max um, and they replied eventually um, saying that um, this can happen in, in really extreme um, temperatures. Um, it's not happened since, it's only happened once. Um, so yeah, I've never had any issues with any data dropping out. That was the only time. Um, it's been consistent. Um, it's got a left-right power reading thing. It's not true left-right. It calculates it somehow um, and sort of guesses your, your left and right power. Now, I did have another power meter before. I had the, the PowerTap P1s uh, for a couple of days until they just destroyed themselves because they are, as I say, shit. Um, and the power readings on the PowerTap and the power readings on this one are pretty much identical. So, yeah. So there's not really a lot to say with this. Um, it just works. It's like the Apple of power meters. Um, in terms of price, it's not the cheapest one. Um, the basic one, this is the basic one because you don't have to buy the crank arm, costs about $900, $800. So that's quite a lot of money. If you get one that's got a crank arm included, like the Campag ones, you're running into sort of $1,500 you know, it's getting up to that sort of price, which is it's getting a bit pricey. Um, but for something that just works and has no issues, and if you look across all the forums and stuff, nobody has issues with these. Something that just works is, I think it's worth the money. Um, negative points then, so let's talk about the negatives. It's not the lightest, it's not the lightest power meter. In terms of the total system, um, for this one, for the Cannondale one, I was on the spider ring chain ring before, and the spider ring it sort of includes the spider as well as the chain ring, hence the name. The spider ring chain ring was about 150 grams. These chain rings alone, these Praxis chain rings alone, are 150 grams. So the weight of the the entire weight of the power meter is the extra weight added to your bike. Now this unit here, the the Cannondale version, weighs about 185 grams. So you you're shoving 185 grams on your bike. It, you know. It's not the end of the world, but there are lighter power meter systems out there. However, like I say, the trade-off is this thing just works. Other thing that's a bit, a bit annoying, um, changing the battery, getting the, there's two rubber, rubber plugs on the back here where the, the screws come through and uh, screw this sort of uh, plate on which covers the battery. Getting those out is an absolute bastard. Now that's, perhaps a good thing because it means that you know they're sealed up pretty well but you know it's a bit annoying they could have done that better um this is this has got a seal on it like a rubber band that goes around it this has been really good i got caught out in some really ridiculously heavy sort of typhoon thing a while back uh, by surprise and i was riding through basically a river on the road it was fully flooded on the way back this thing got submerged when I got home, I mean, that, that was like the second ride as well, I'd taken it out, so I was sort of shitting myself that I'd broken it. When I got home, I uh, managed to get these plugs out the back, uh, took this off, and there was like the tiniest bit of, like, not even like running water, just sort of condensation on the inside, and I wiped that out, and it's been totally fine. And, then, you know, that was with basically just submerging it in, in a bath of water. So, pretty good. And I've had, I've had no issues since with anything like that. So yeah, this Power 2 Max system is is excellent. I think. Oh yeah, one one more one more down point. It's got this. It's got a cadence system built into it. So if you don't have like one of these or, or equivalent on your bike, which sends the cadence to your head unit, this thing will automatically send cadence. But it's really laggy. It's really laggy. So when you start pedaling, you don't see any cadence, and then it sort of catches up. This thing is is direct, so much better. So uh, you know, I 
they could have done better with the cadence on there. The actual system itself has about a two second lag on power, which, you know, I prefer it to be direct, but there's, you know, not a lot of them out there at the moment until the Shimano one comes along and shows everyone how to do it, uh, which are direct. So, you know, for, for this sort of point in the history of engineering of power meters, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, so I definitely would recommend this. This is just brilliant. And that's it really. Oh yeah, and you can also, you can choose what color sticker you get as well with it, which is obviously the most important thing. Uh, one more little negative. I don't really like the graphics on. I think the graphics are well noughties. Uh, this sort of laser etched white on black is just, nah, I'm not into that. They, they, if they'd have done that all just black or just left the graphics off, that'd have been much nicer. But yeah, so overall, absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. Recommended.